Welcome back in, everyone. Uh, we are proud to have Scott Berry and Dusty Culpepper here. We're awfully proud to have Scott Berry here. <laughs> Much more so than me. I know. Dusty's another question. <laughs> <laughs> They're here to talk about the Greater uh, Meridian Fellowship of Christian Athletes Breakfast. It's coming up uh, That's right. a week from Friday. That's that, right. Next that Friday. Right? Good Friday. Uh, so this is our seventh annual Jackie Slay Breakfast of Champions that we are having here with the uh, Greater Meridian Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And uh, it's always a great event, Lindsay, no kidding. Uh, we have really, really good speakers. Coach has uh, uh, offered to do the keynote this year. And, uh, but it's really about recognizing athletes that are in a four county area. Uh, we, we choose 30 champions of character. And you know, they may not be uh, your best hitter in your lineup, but they really model the FCA values. And so we, we recognize them. Uh, we honor our coach of the year uh, and our two Mark Bryan male and female athletes of the year. Yeah. Scott Berry, who would normally be patrolling the dugouts right now on sidelines, so uh, but welcome. You have not been here in this studio in a long time, but folks here are very familiar with your days at MCC and, of course, your, your days at Southern Miss. Well, it's an honor to be back here. Well, we're special. awful glad you are. Well, thank you. So you're going to be the guest speaker. Uh, what does this and the FCA, and of course you and Dusty have the long time connection to? We do, and I was very honored and thrilled when, when Dusty approached me back in the fall about being the keynote speaker and the opportunity to speak to these young athletes and, and their parents and all their support system, the coaches that, that coach them, and try to bring a message to them that helps them as they continue their journey on in, in, this, in this world. Tickets. Dusty. So, yeah, sponsorships are available. You can go to greatermeridianfca.org. There still are sponsorships available for, for businesses, but you can also come. Uh, it's $25 an individual ticket, $50 if you want to eat breakfast. But, uh, again, we would. last year was our biggest attendance. We had almost 800 people in the Riley Center. And so uh, it was really, really good, and uh, we anticipate the same crowd this year. There you have the phone number on your screen right now. Does I think that's your phone number, I believe, the 480 <laughs> number, I okay. believe. So <laughs> probably is. you can get uh, more phone numbers right there. Scott, you are uh, you will be the sp uh, speaker a week from Friday. We hope everybody comes and quickly. You're you're didn't stay retired. To, I mean, you're you're back at USM at, at a, a different capacity, right? I am. Yes, yeah, so I'm working directly with our athletic director Jeremy McLean in a part time role. Yeah, as an assistant for community <clears throat> relations. So. Uh, it's an exciting role for me. It helps me stay connected with our Southern Miss community and keeps me involved in, in, a, in a place that is dear to my heart and, is, and has been a big part of my life. One other thing, I've been waiting to ask you this for about 25 years. <laughs> D Dusty really padded his stats while he was MCC, didn't he? I mean, that was right. Uh, well, he was in charge of the scorebook. That's what I'm talking, talking about. about <laughs> of course. So, you know, it, it always seemed like, you know, after a game, I was like, did he really have that many hits? But it no, he up. was, I'll tell you what, he was a true <laughs> blessing to our team. And, and uh, you know, just all kidding aside, uh, yeah. just very proud of the person that he is and the model, role model that he is for this team. And his son played for it. In Meridian. That's yeah. The, yeah, sir. Yeah. Well, we're glad to have you back. You'll be there a week from Friday. It's going to be a special it's night good for Friday. you. Good Friday. Yeah, good, good, good Friday on, morning. On good That's Friday. Right. Scott, great to see you. Glad you're here, <coughs> Dusty. Thank you Thanks, for, for the work that you're doing for FCA. I know it's going to be a great day a week from Friday, the 29th Good Friday. Now to wrap things up, here is Aviana. There, Lindsay, as we get ready to head out to lunchtime, we're going to take a view outside over Decatur right now as we're seeing gorgeous blue skies. Not a cloud in sight, still fairly cool, though, as we go through the remainder of our Taco Tuesday. Lindsay, time to head on out and grab onto some tacos for lunchtime today as temperatures are headed into the low 60s for highs. Plenty of sunshine and no rain at all to worry about. That looks good. I don't know if Scott Berry will remember this ago, but about 30 years in a golf tournament, Lakeview Golf Course, the longest uh -huh. drive maybe I've ever seen a human hit. Scott, you remember that? It is unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. He could hit a golf ball. He, I don't know if he can bend over and put one on a tee now, but I can't either. So. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for joining us. All right, Lindsay. <laughs> we hope you have a great Tuesday, and we'll see you again tomorrow on the Midday Show, everyone.